Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So I recently ran into a problem with my desktop version of Microsoft Outlook. The problem was that the email signatures feature was not working. When I tried to bring up the signature window in Outlook, it would just hang. So today I'd like to do a quick video showing how to solve this problem. All right, so why don't I show you the problem here? So when I fire up Outlook here, let me just come here and find it first. Um, so I'll come here to Microsoft Office and notice I have 2013 installed on my machine. That's gonna come into play in a little bit. Just wanna draw your attention to it now. So let me fire up my desktop version of Outlook. This is how I like to do email. So when I fire this up and say I want to write a new message. So I'll come here, I'll start a new message um, and I'll just send it to myself. How about, it really doesn't matter at this point. But I will type in something like, hello, here is my message. And say I'd like to add an email signature, right? So I would come here to the signature window and I click on signatures to bring up the window and nothing happens. It is just gonna sit here and hang and actually it becomes unresponsive. I'm trying to type and click and nothing is gonna work. Uh, it will eventually come back here, but long story short, I'm not able to get signatures to work here. So that's the problem. Why don't we take a look at um, the potential solution for this? All right, so Outlook stop hanging. Why don't I go ahead and discard this message because it's not actually needed. Um, and apparently what happens is the problem occurs when there are conflicting installations of Office. So for example, if your machine came pre-installed with a trial version of Office, but then you install a different version of Office like I've done here, I also understand that the problem may be exacerbated if one of them is 64-bit and the other one is 32-bit here. Um, so for example, we can look at mine. If I come here to File, Office Account, About Outlook, we'll see that my version is, is a, a bit of an older one. My, my institution has a license for these and I just like using the older version. I'm comfortable with it. And furthermore, I use a 32-bit version. Now the machine I'm doing this on, it's a, uh, it's a fairly new Surface Pro. Um, from the year 2017, so I believe it came installed with a trial version of Office, which may be causing this issue here. So let's go ahead and close Outlook and figure out how can we get rid of the trial version or the, uh, the, the conflicting version that's on my machine. So let me close out Office here and we'll go uninstall the other version right now. All right, so to uninstall the pre-installed uh, Microsoft Office desktop app, I'm gonna come here to Start, I'm going to type settings and let's open up the settings app. I'm gonna come here to apps. Then I'm gonna go apps and features here and let's look for that Microsoft Office desktop app. So let me scroll down here, here we are. Okay, so here's Microsoft Office desktop apps and I believe this is the pre-installed version here. And then here's the one that I installed uh, later which is sort of the uh, conflicting version here. So uh, apparently the solution for this is to simply uninstall this version. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Uninstall, uninstall. Okay, great. And we'll give this a couple of minutes to uninstall and we will be back. Oh, actually looks like it completed. That was actually pretty darn quick. All right, great. So what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and close settings and I'll reboot the machine and we'll come back and see if that helped the problem. So I'm gonna pause the video and we'll be back in a second. All right, we're back. So why don't we see if that uh, fixed the problem here? So I'm gonna come over here to Office and fire up Outlook again. And let's go ahead and write ourselves a test email, let's see if this works here. So test, does the signature window work now? And let's say I want to insert a signature again. So let's come up here to signatures and click on signatures and voila, there it is. It looked like it worked. So we can go ahead and add ourselves uh, a signature. I'll maybe call this default. Okay. And I'll just go ahead and type some text here. Uh, maybe I'll just put my name and my email address here. That looks like a pretty darn good signature. I'll hit OK, and then let's go ahead and see if we're able to add it here successfully. So I'll come here to signatures, click on default, and there it is. It seems to work. So there you go. That seems to have fixed the problem here. So it was pretty simple. 
Um, I, doing a little bit of research, I have seen that there are some discussion about you may need to modify the registry here. Luckily for me, I didn't have to do that, but I will leave a link in the description of this video here to the um, Microsoft documentation that outlines this problem and some of the workarounds. So anyway, uh, I hope this was helpful and I hope to catch you at another video. Talk to you later. Bye.